back to my channel it's your girl dudu back at it again with another banging video if you're new here make sure you subscribe to the channel to join this amazing amazing family and if you're a returning subscriber thanks for tuning in now, in today's video you already see by the title i'm going to be talking a whole lot of computer science i know a lot of people these days want to do computer science we want to apply for computer science for university but they don't really know what to expect they don't know if they need to have done math they don't know if they need to have done computer science in high school so i'm here to spill the tea and tell you guys all you need to know about at least first semester of computer science in your first year of university so without further ado let's get straight into the video so i just finished my first semester studying computer science at king's college london and i'm just gonna tell you guys how it went what we did and you know just basically prepare you for you know your first semester if you're gonna study computer science and you know let you know how it would be if you do decide to pick computer science so first things first let me answer a few questions do you need to have done computer science in high school to apply for computer science as a degree and the answer is no you do not need to have studied computer science you just need to have a passion for it and be open-minded because you do learn everything from scratch they assume we know nothing and teach us you know everything from the basics although it will be a bit quick but it's if you're passionate about it is nothing that you can't handle if you get what I mean so yeah you don't need to have done computer science do you need to have done maths probably now I'm not really sure if you need to have done maths but there is quite a bit of maths it doesn't mean that you have to have been really good at it but I think to actually apply to the course one of the requirements is that you have an A or a B in um, maths at A level or O level I'm not really sure but you will have had some kind of maths experience and that is enough it's not really like in depth too much if you have done like even A's level maths you're probably okay so yeah now let's get into how the term actually went and like the actual specifics of what we were learning so in my first semester i had four modules i had three compulsory modules and one that i had to choose between two so the compulsory ones were a programming module you can already tell what that is about i had a one called foundations of computing which was like a whole lot of maths and you know i'll get into it later and i had computer systems that was more i'll get into that later and then the one i chose i had a choice between the maths module and uh, logic so i picked the logic one so yeah so i only had four for my first semester so I'm going to start with the simplest one that I think we all expect when you're going into computer science, which is the programming module. So now I know you're probably thinking you don't know anything about programming or how hard is it going to be? Are you just going to be expected to know all the, you know, languages and stuff like that? But let me tell you, it's okay. Like I said, they teach you from the basics, scratch. You don't need to have known anything. Literally in my year for my semester this year we're doing java as the language so we learned from writing an input statement writing an output statement you know it's like the basic of the basic and we had like a few projects simple stuff like it's really not that hard i don't know how to explain it but you don't have to have done it it's just simple thinking if you did do a level computer science is probably much easier even if you didn't do java as a language i personally did python and i actually found it really doable like really learnable it wasn't that hard for me to learn java because the logic behind both the languages and i'm sure a lot of other programming languages is so similar so it's just more like learning the words but you know like this is the output statement and this is the input statement type of thing and yeah that module is basically quite simple it's more exciting for me and it was it was really good it was one of my favorite ones so i had two projects for this term so each term we had two projects so we had to do this term and yeah, that's how it all went there's not really a lot of theory like i said it's programming module so it's a lot more of learning how to program properly and everything so yeah i hope that kind of tells you how it is really not that hard you don't need to have known like you don't need to know anything going into it 
which I think is something that I needed to know before because I was kind of panicking going into computer science thinking everyone is gonna know the programming language that we're gonna do and I was gonna be stuck but it is okay they will not or they don't expect you to know anything i've said that enough but yeah that is it for the programming module next the other module that i had was foundations of computing now this one for me was very confusing ish because it was a whole lot of different things it wasn't like you know just programming which is pretty you know self-explanatory so for this one we had a lot of logic we had sets like this is the one that had maths that remind me a lot of a level maths because i had to some functions that I had to do, probability, um, you know, what you call it, permutations and combinations, that's also in there. And then some things in A-level computer science as well, like state transition diagrams are also there. And yeah, so basically this one's more maths, but there's also some logic things. So a lot of like basic things that you know, but then they just really get upgraded real fast and yeah it was not one of my favorites to start off with but it's it's okay it's not too bad it's not too bad if you've done a level maths it's probably one of those where you're gonna be like oh at least it's not like completely new type of thing so yeah that is it with foundations of computing then i had another module called computer systems now this one was not my very favorite one towards the end but it was also quite okay like if you've done a level computer science this one is not going to be too much of a struggle for you to start off with especially because it's where we had the binary you know binary has a lot and like i don't know for me i really like binary because it just gets to a point where you know it can't get too hard and if you get all your ones and zeros properly it's okay so there's a lot of binary there's also the theory side of things like to do with memory you know virtual memory and things like that we had assembly and compilers you know a whole lot of a level type of computer science things but really upgraded like really explained and more you're doing more of the work than just you know knowing what this does type of thing so yeah that's also another one which is more theory and again not hard it's nothing to be scared of and finally i had the elementary logic and applications now this is a very confusing ish one but it's a very interesting module where we were talking a whole lot about logic basically do you know what i mean so it was just i don't know how to explain it but it's not like too matty but it's like logic you just have you know what i'm just gonna stop but it's logic that's basically all i can say and it's also predicate logic i don't know in a level um i did a level cambridge computer science and there was a section where we did do a bit of predicate logic but we didn't go too in depth with it so this is basically where we kind of do go in depth with you know logic as a whole predicate logic first order logic and what's the other one some other general logic and yeah i think for me that one was really exciting because it was a lot of you know doing by hand yeah it wasn't i haven't done exams i don't know who i think i am saying all of this but learning it was quite fun and it's one of those exciting ones it's not like a drag if you know what i mean so yeah that is the last one then there is a another module called Com computational mathematics i think i'm not sure but i didn't do it so that one was a whole lot of maths like discrete maths i believe and so yeah that's all i can say about that one so yeah that was it for my first semester of computer science i quite enjoyed it but learned a lot throughout the time so yeah i really did enjoy learning new things and you know increasing my skill level in a lot of different things i really did enjoy that and i know i'm here acting like it's completely easy it's not easy but it's only easy if you like enjoy it and i feel like coming into computer science a lot of us don't know what to expect and we act like it's like impossible and like so hard like you don't really know how it is but i'm here to tell you guys that it is okay and if you do want to apply for computer science you know go ahead it's not 
terrible do you know what i mean programming yes you're gonna learn a new language but that's probably not even hard it's not hard at all i don't know how much i can emphasize the fact that learning the programming language is not hard because i know when i was in a level i really thought that learning new programming languages would be the end of me so yeah just know that that's not hard coming from high school you're okay if you've done maths you're good if you haven't done computer science you're good if you've done computer science you'll have a bit of an, an advantage but then again after this semester we won't have any advantage as people who've done a level maths we're just basically on the same slate now so yeah that's really all i can say i guess about computer science if you have any questions please do leave them down in the comments below and i'll answer them anything to do with computer science and yeah so yeah that is it i guess for today's video i hope i answered some of your questions i really do um urge you to apply for computer science if it's something you want but you're not sure of i hope this video also helps you just you know to know what it's really about and to you know give you a peace of mind that it's okay it's not hard because i feel like when i wanted to apply there was a lot of uncertainty in knowing what you know i was like there was a lot of uncertainty like i didn't know if i was going to be able to do it i didn't know what to expect yeah i hope this really helped and if you've come all the way to the end of this video and you haven't subscribed please what are you doing please subscribe to the channel to join the family because i have a lot of fire content for you guys we are almost done with this year i am so excited 2020 is coming to an end and you know 2021 new year new beginnings new content thank you guys for watching make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video bye